You're going to have more days you don't want to do something than you are going to want to. Most days, you're not going to be pumped up. Most days, you're going to feel weak. Most days, you're going to want to stay in bed. Most days, you're going to feel like most people do. But if you do what most people do, which is give yourself reasons to not get the tasks done, not get to work, not get out of bed, you're going to end up like most people, barely getting by, being unhappy with their lives. You got to make a different decision. You got to decide enough is enough. You've had enough of being average and ordinary. You're tired of being mediocre. You're now going to push yourself. It's going to feel better when it's over. You know that when you get done doing the hard thing, it's going to feel better. Waking up, working out, taking care of some tedious task. You know you will feel better when it is done. You also know that if you don't do the hard thing, the thing that you don't want to do, that you don't feel like doing, you know if you don't do it, you're going to feel inferior. You know you're going to feel weak. And that feeling, that horrible feeling, you know that feeling too. You know it. You know it's true. Those are the two outcomes. One will cause you some short-term gratification. You'll get to sleep a little bit more. You won't have to put out during a workout. You don't have to do this tedious task. You'll get some short-term gratification, but the long-term regret will be strong and it will inflict pain on you. Successful people do one thing more than others. Make movement. They get it done. While most people are slacking off, relaxing, wasting their time, the winners in the world are putting in work. Studying their craft, practicing, running drills on how to perform better, putting in all those extra hours when everyone's already gone home. And of course, you'll get tired. You'll get worn out. You'll feel exhausted and lazy and not want to work. And you'll have some really, really rough days. But when that happens, you got to tell yourself, I will not stop. I don't care what I have to go through. I'm going to get this done, no matter what. You do what you know you need to do to move forward. And when you do that thing, you know you're going to feel strong and you're going to feel gratified and you're going to feel worthy of this life. That's how you're going to feel when you do what you're supposed to do. Remember that. Remember that the pain right now will absolutely pay off in the future. And the capitulation and the conceding defeat to weakness, that will absolutely result in the pain of regret and remorse later. You know this to be true, so don't allow it. Remember the feeling of victory that comes from doing the right thing, the hard thing. Remember that feeling and then go get it done. The work comes before the belief. You're going to have to do some work and you're going to have to keep doing it consistently even when you're not seeing the results, even when you feel like giving up. And eventually, results will begin to sprout as you do this. And when that happens, you're going to build faith, build belief in what it is you're doing. You start to realize, hey, I can really do this. This is actually working. And as you work more, more success sprouts. You're going to start to create something. You have no motivation, you have no drive, you have no ambition, but you're going to force it to happen anyway because that's what bad motherfuckers do and that's what you are. You're going to go through day by day by day doing the work regardless of how you feel like it. And then what's going to happen is you're going to see a little bit of a result. And when you see that little bit of result, you're going to get happy. And what's going to happen in your brain is it's going to open up the possibilities for you of what you can actually achieve because now you can clearly see that if I do the work, this result will happen. And when this result starts to happen, you get excited. And guess what comes with the excitement? The motivation. The inches we need to become dominant in any field of life are all around us. It's in every task, every project, every mission, every day, every second. When you do the small things, how do you do them? Because if you're putting in 120% in those small tasks, I know for sure you're doing it in everything else. It's the people who are willing to do twice as much as anyone else. Those are the people who end up winning. You go the extra mile, you push through the extra round, you do those extra reps. 
That's what defines if you become first or forgotten. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them toward the goal. And so what you're focusing on throughout the course of the day, it has to change. What you're looking at, what you're reading, what you're watching, the conversations you have. You've got to be focused entirely on your dreams, entirely on your goals. When you're great, you don't just focus on a week. You don't just focus on a month. You don't just focus on a year. You concentrate on the 24 hours that's in front of you and work as hard as possible to nail it. 